What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, uh, we've got some smaller news. Nothing major happened today, uh, but we'll start off with Richard Jefferson has announced that he would like to come out of retirement for one season. Now, it is suspected that he will join the Los Angeles Lakers with his old friend LeBron James. And it also said that uh, kind of J.R. Smith is, uh, might influence that decision as well because obviously he is friends with J.R. Smith as well after his time on the Cavs. Uh, so that could be quite interesting. You can see the tweet on the screen before. Uh, he wants to come and uh, he wants to come out of retirement. He's done a bit of commentating uh, for a few a few news sources around the NBA, but now he wants to play at least one more season. So, in other news, uh, the 76ers have offered Ben Simmons a five-year $168 million contract extension. Now, ben, this will make Ben Simmons the most paid Australian athlete of all time. I know that has nothing to do with uh, the NBA, but that, I thought this was something interesting as well. Uh, but it would be very good for the 76ers. I mean, if Ben Simmons can, like, get a jump shot, I'd say in the next two seasons, um, then that five-year contract, he'll pretty much be unstoppable. Like, who, the way that he is at the moment, the way that he can kind of, um, either, you know, for his height and how he can play make as well, but also how he can kind of drive inside. If he can get that mid-range or at least kind of a floater game going, he will be pretty much unstoppable. So that is a great thing for the 76ers uh, to gain. Uh, now, Willie Cauley-Stein has a agreed to a deal with the Golden State Warriors. So Willie Cooley, so I'm pretty sure he's 25 years old and he's seven foot center from obviously the Sacramento Kings last season. Uh, now I think he said that he wanted out uh, during this off season and now the Warriors have picked him up on a near minimum deal, I'm pretty sure. So the details haven't come out 100% yet, but it's a, probably a near minimum deal. Obviously the Warriors don't have a lot of money to spend at the moment, but it's a great pickup in Willie Cooley Stein. And also for the Warriors, Clay Thompson has undergone a success full ACL surgery and will be out for the next five to seven months. Uh, so he did sign that new contract with the Warriors, but he will be out for the majority of this first season. Uh, now, Jeff Green has signed a one-year, $2.5 million deal with the Utah Jazz, which is a great pickup for the Jazz. They made a lot of good moves, obviously, with Mike Connolly and early in uh, free agency. They've picked him up and they've also got uh, someone else. Who was it, the other person they picked up? Um, I'm trying to think. I can't think at the moment, but they've picked up a lot of good key play, a lot of good role plays, getting a lot of depth on their bench, which is good for the Utah Jazz. Now, Andre Iguodala will get a buyout. It's suspected that he will get a buyout from the Memphis Grizzlies and sign with the Lakers. The Lakers are making more moves, getting a bit of depth, a bit of veteran uh, experience onto their bench and onto their starting lineup, and I think Andre Iguodala would be a great start there. Um, but, I mean, it would be a bit weird with him playing with LeBron, especially from, like, my point of view as a Warriors fan, but anyway, uh, that will have to happen. Now, Jared Dudley also has signed with the Lakers on a one-year two $2.6 million deal. Uh, now, Jared Dudley had that awesome beef with Ben Simmons during the playoffs. That was quite funny to watch. Um, and he kind of, you know, that whole celebration when he's doing his three-point with the arm stretched out. Uh, so it was a great pickup. More depth adding to the Los Angeles Lakers bench. Now, Emmanuel Moutier has signed a one-year deal with the Utah Jazz. I'm not sure how much money at the moment, but another key kind of guard that can, you know, a great role player that the Jazz are adding to their bench. Now, Daniel Theus, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name, has agreed to a two-year, $10 million deal. It's an extension with the Boston Celtics. He obviously played last season, and now he is extending his uh, his contract with them for another two years on a $10 million deal. So, uh, also, Wilson Chandler has agreed to a deal with the Brooklyn Nets. So, the Nets are making more depth onto their bench. Obviously, Wilson Chandler will probably back up. I'm guessing, uh, depending on where they play KD, he might back up DeAndre Jordan, or he might play power forward. We don't really know at the moment, but that is a great pickup by the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, James Ennis has agreed to a two-year, $4.1 million deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, so the 76ers adding more depth to their bench, which is great. I keep saying that, but it's important for these teams to add depth to the bench. It's one of the most important things. If you have the greatest starting lineup and then you don't, you have kind of um, not as good players off the bench or don't have that depth off the bench, then it can really lack in those second, third quarters. So uh, last story of the day, Glenn Robinson has signed a two-year deal with the Golden State Warriors. So more, uh, more Warriors news as well. So he is... Uh, uh, Glenn Robinson obviously played for the, who was it, the Indiana Pacers, I'm pretty sure. And uh, now he is on the Warriors bench. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Tell me what you think of the Richard Jefferson news about him coming out of retirement. What do you think about Ben Simmons being offered this huge deal with the uh, 76ers? And how do you think Willie Cauley-Stein will go with the Warriors? So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.